Um, could you give your first and last name sure. as well? Jason Craig, C-R-A-I-G. And um, could you explain as well, in your opinion, how big of a problem is this? I think this is a, this is a really big problem. Um, you know, uh, I've been told by other people in other parts of government that, you know what, this, that I'm supposed to represent 6,000 people in the city of Franklin. I do. And I shouldn't let 50 some odd people kind of dictate where my priorities are. Unfortunately, it's a, a case of where, you know, I would, I would hope that every person that has an issue that should be something that's important to whoever's the elected official so it isn't just a 50 people well you know what it's really important to those 50 people and the fact that this has been you know an ongoing thing for years and years and years and I'm you know walking into it and it's and it's and it really sucks and you know it's it's not good and it and I, and I understand like all the frustration from the residents because you know they've been you know Dane has been telling me and uh, Bernie and and Dale and everyone that that's been there saying like hey you know what and, and I can understand their frustration of like okay well you're just the new face and you're gonna be just like the the rest of the line of failures that have not done anything for us and I get that you know that there is a level of like well. Where where is the hope? Because there hasn't been any for 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 a decade. So. And when you've raised concerns or you've tried to do something, it sounds like you're fairly new. But what have you faced? What have you run into from the developer, from other officials, the mayor, the police chief? Um, so there's been very much of a well, nope. This I can't I can't do anything for you. And where other people are very much aligned with. Well, we should, you know, this, you can't do that. You can't cut the guy's knees off, and that's not right. And, you know, uh, I, I did, when the summer concert series came up for, for, for approval, I did say, like, well, why don't we just do um, a temporary thing? We'll give you every week. You just come back here every two weeks. You come back to the licensing. If everything's groovy and everyone is not, you're, we don't have issues, more than happy to give you another two weeks as far as a license goes. But that got, you know, well, no, that's not fair because he's advertising for this. And that's, and it's like, well, I, I'm Who's not telling you that. Who's that, telling you, well, it's not fair, he's advertising? Another alder. Another alderman is. Okay. Um, what, what do you think is the answer here? How do you think that this should be solved? I do think that there that well certain verbal agreements or certain promises have been made of like no this this is going to happen and and i and maybe i had a little bit of um uh was it uh optimism bias that okay well i'll take you on your word that you know you said you're going to do something and you know you're you're you are in a public facing sort of role so I have no reason not to believe you and then it doesn't happen and it doesn't happen and it doesn't happen and I don't know what the next route is going to be but there I I think it would have to be where it is going to have to be where having more voices in line with this and being able to say like look I don't like this really stinks for residents in district six and it's a it's apparent other people in other parts of the of the city are like well it doesn't bother me why should i care well i think it care it should matter because if you live in district four for example and i'm not saying anyone does but if all of a sudden district four a gun range goes in and all of a sudden every night everyone's up at night because there's gunshots for hours and hours and hours well it's within their rights and they're they're within the sound that's fine and everyone in district six can say you know what doesn't bother me that's not the way it should be it should be where yeah as my neighbor maybe not next door but we live in the same city 
And if it bothers someone, you know, that I don't want that coming to my door, you know, and there's a, you know, we're, we're the talk of the, the same phraseology of being a good neighbor. And that's absolutely true. So, so it does seem that there is some leverage that Franklin could impose on the park, right? Like they could say, hey, we're not going to issue you your summer concert series unless you agree to turn the speakers in, turn it down. Is that correct? I mean, is there something that Franklin could do to force them to comply? There could be, yeah. Okay. Through licensing, right? That's where you could do it. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's where I have, I have failed the residents here. Because I have not been as stringent as I should have been, and I'll, I'll be, you know, very honest about that, and, you know, and the residents are holding me accountable for my actions or inactions for what I have and have not done. Is there any other leverage that you can see that Franklin could exercise upon the park, other than approving the concerts? In theory, yes. Um, I don't know how. How deep I should go on this because okay. it's it's kind of more roundabout sort of okay. sort of things and I personally speaking I'd rather kind of keep that ace okay. tucked okay. up because yeah, you mentioned that there was a comment to you that hey you can't just cut the guys off the guy off his knees right which I understand but at the same time you're cutting you know the neighbors knees are being cut off right I mean their lives are being really interrupted yep. too so there needs to be a compromise so. absolutely yeah and I and you know the neighbors have been very clear as far as that they're not saying like the guy needs to go out of business that needs to be shuttered and right. bulldozed and turned into you know a TJ Maxx, which you know not a bad idea, but um, but no one's asking for that, and I think that's a very distinct and very important thing to to note is that no one's saying like this guy's got to leave town and he's got to be tarred and feathered and run out to, to the city limits of Oak Creek and you know, run your stuff down there. No, no one's saying that at all. It's a, we just want, like the residents are saying that they want it just manageable, I think would be the best way of putting it. And right now, and I mean, you heard that, I don't think that this is. 